All right, y'all, you might be thinking that I'm dirty because I don't clean myself with soap. I could see why you might think that because we've been taught that Dove, St. Ives, and Bath and Body Works are the ultimate cleanser for the human body and that they are top priority and if people don't put on soap then they're dirty they're nasty they stink and that's nowhere near the truth it's going on a year and a half that i have not used soap on me every day the reason why i say every day is because from time to time, I put on soap. This might be TMI, but it's okay because we got to talk about these things. From time to time, I put on soap only on like my butt and like in the butt crack. <laughs> um, if I just finished pooping and I am about to have intercourse, like it's about to go down. Just for my husband's sake, like, I feel as though I can just get a little bit of soap, Dr. Bronner soap. I um, am a fan of this brand. See if you can see it. This one is lavender, but they also have like tea tree, almond, citrus. They have a lot. But when I'm about to do the do, after I've done the doo doo, I take a little bit of this and I swipe it through my crack and all that and then I go on about my business as far as putting on soap every day I don't and I'm not ever gonna go back to putting on soap every day like I'm just not you may be like but don't you still stink afterwards and the answer is no once the water touches me and it cleans me and I scrub oh yeah now key you have to scrub places that's prone to collecting bacteria aka places with hair because that's what the hair is for to protect you from bad bacteria getting into the body so you have to make sure to scrub hairy areas so for me I have to scrub the pits I gotta sometimes scratch it and I gotta get all up in there scrub my vagina hair and that's pretty much it like and I don't come out smelling like the water literally cleanses me on top of that eating cleaner foods helps as well as you can see here in the background I have some pomegranate that I'm going to be tearing up in a little bit and then I have some blueberries Ooh, hold on and then I have some blueberries okay they are naturally going to help cleanse the body from the inside out and a lot of us smell because we smell on the inside over the past year I've been constantly evolving transitioning transforming changing elevating radiating ah! i have been constantly on the up and up to improve my internal health which will reflect my outer health whereas if this was me back in like 2012 when i was eating like hot pockets candy a lot hot dogs hamburger helpers and all of that I probably wouldn't have been able to just not put on soap every day because my insides would have been smelly, would have been holding old flesh and that comes out on the outside. That comes out through our breath, that comes out through our vagina, that comes out through our sweat, like it just comes out. Whatever we put in, it will come out one way or the other. As far as my soaps, from time to time, as I mentioned, I use Dr. Bronner's. And then I've also found this soap that I get for my husband. Um, 
and my children. I mean, I don't push on them to put on soap either, but sometimes when the kids don't really clean themselves up and it's poop all in their underwear and all that stuff, I be like, all right, y'all, put on some soap. But I found this soap from um, the vitamin shop. It's like a herbal soap. It's like a Indian company. And I love this soap. These two soaps are the only soaps that I'm comfortable with. But as far as me putting them on every day, I don't put them on every day. And I don't smell. I feel clean. Um, it isn't like we need to put on Bath and Body Works and all them other companies to be clean. That's not the truth. The products that are in these stores, y'all, yeah, I get it. They might smell good and they might be foamy and they might feel creamy and all that, but forget all that you got to look at what's in these products because it is what is in these products that is causing hormonal imbalances cancers stress skin diseases all these type of problems and then you wonder where are they coming from but then yet you've been putting on these toxic chemicals for 20 plus years and you still have not added that into the equation that it could possibly be what I'm putting on every day because what we put on our skins go into us it's not like putting oil on top of some water and this is going to slide off no it is created to slide in and when it goes in it affects you once you know better you have to do better or else you will reap the consequences because from that point on you can't say oh i didn't know that this could cause cancer problems getting pregnant you knew you just didn't care you chose toxicity and you chose um popularity and you chose processed over natural and that's what I'm all about in this phase is returning back to nature, returning back to the mother earth because she got all the answers, okay? She'll heal you from the inside out, from the outside in, okay? Okay, hold on, cause we not about to flash all on this channel. Whatever you have, put it in the comments and I'll make sure to answer them. Thank you for watching this. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel because I'm going to keep on posting my experience and my perspective being a holistic woman in, I mean, 2022 now. So, yeah, let's get it. And uh, it's time for me to eat because your girl hungry. Mm. Mm. Y'all, that feeling when you haven't eaten in a while and you eat something sweet and the flavor just like electrifies all this right here, it's like. It's like a kiss from Mother Nature. Mm. I'm telling y'all. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I gotta get out of here.